Here I am in Apple Motion and I've got a simple 3D comp going with just a single 3D plane object there. And if we look at the keyframe curves and I go to split view and look at the alternate perspective and we scroll through again, it should be obvious that the only animated thing in the comp is actually the camera. You see the camera moving and rotating. So if I go back to single view and we go back to our timeline here, you see that I have a, another group I'm going to enable, and that group has a solid color in it, the blue color there. And the group is a 2D group. I'm going to leave it that way, and I'm going to apply BCC extruded text from the BCC 3D objects category. And in the text window, enter some text here. And what I want to show is how the BCC 3D objects can integrate um, using the motion camera. So that should be good. And I hit apply. So you see by default it's just compositing in a 2D way over over the other group. I'm gonna give it some an extrusion style here. Now check that box, use motion camera, and you see immediately that the 3D text is now honoring the motion camera animation that I've created. Um I'm also going to apply, see from the favorites there, I applied some behaviors that I created before which have allowed me to link to a transparent group up above. I've linked the Z position, see so I'm able to manipulate it on screen. And why don't we just give it a little bend. If I enable the bend taper twist deformer I'm going to give a little 3D warp to my extruded text. and. The other thing uh, one of my behaviors there did was to link the Z position of the light, the motion light, to the, um, the light in the 3D text filter. So I'm able to change its Z position using the on-screen widget that way, which is convenient. And let me just pull this out a little more to give it a little bit more depth to the composition. And so you see it's pretty simple to create a pretty sophisticated 3D object, extruded object, that'll integrate into the um, into the 3D scene within motion. So I'm just looking at my you can see as I get different camera angles here, got the preview on the left of what the effect output is gonna look like. And I notice I actually should reposition the extruded text a little bit, maybe make a few adjustments. Um, the position Y I have not linked, so let me just go into my transformations tab on the filter there. Lower that. And actually now that I've, I want to readjust the light, now that I've moved my text out farther I should back up this light a little bit so it gets a little highlight on the front face of the extruded text. And that's a quick look at how to use the motion camera with the Boris Continuum 3D objects.